All right, I've got um, one button control added to my prop bar for Prop EOS 6. So um, I finally was able to get, uh, with SA22C, I actually took his one button controls and brought them into my prop. And then I've added almost all of the new features that are coming from OS 6 that I have for two button. Um, so for everybody who's been using one button, um, I haven't had one button controls. I don't really have any one button sabers. I actually modified this saber just by changing the config to one button. Uh, but I don't typically use one button, so I used SA22C's one button control as the baseline. Uh, but I did have to change some controls, and I also had to um, modify a few things uh, just to get everything to fit. But now we're going to have uh, Prop EOS 6 with my prop file will work on one button. You're going to get pretty much all the features except for choreography mode. Now choreography mode is actually two modes. There's a rehearsal and a choreography mode. Um, having one button. Uh, I was able to fit everything else in, so I got edit mode in, I got track player, I got real clash, I got battle mode 2.0, um, the scroll presets capability, uh, what else do we add, gesture sleep, um, we don't need power lock, and uh, the quote capability, so the new force quote player, um, and pretty much everything else except for choreography mode, so that because of the limitations of one button, um, there just isn't enough controls available to get choreography mode in here. So if you wanted choreography mode for OS 6, you will need a two-button saver. Um, otherwise, there just wasn't a way to do it. But everything else is in there. Um, I do have a much longer video running through all the new controls. Um, I did change a few things. So in the prop file, there's now a one-button control section. Anything that says new next to it is a brand new feature. Anything that says new control means that I had to change uh, SA22C's control um, in most cases, I tried to keep everything, but a few of the controls I had to change how they worked in order to free up for other things. And in a couple cases, I actually, um, because I wanted the controls to work similarly when your blade is on or off, I had to move a few things around. Um, and it did take a while, um, but now we're going to have all the capabilities, except choreography mode, in one button, right out of my prop. Um, so you'll be able to use it in OS 6. Um, OS 6 is just about out of alpha. My one button piece and then a couple other pieces that uh, Frederick's got lined up are going to finish out alpha testing. Once Frederick's all done, he will move us to beta testing. Um, so I know a few people who've wanted to wait till beta testing. Beta testing is coming. Um, the one button control is going to be there. So if you wanted to help with beta testing, definitely check out the uh, post in the Crucible. Um, I'll have a link in the description. I also have a link for uh, the full, de full uh, explanation of everything in my prop file. Um, I do have a page set for that, plus you can always read the top of the prop file, and there is a much longer video that walks through all the controls for one button using my prop file for OS 6. So, lots of great stuff coming. Um, OS 6 is pretty close to beta, um, and then hopefully beta goes pretty quick and smooth, and then we'll be in full release. Uh, but so much coming, and uh, I'm so glad I finally got one button in, um, so no more worries about which version of which file you have. Um, my file will now support two button and one button and technically three button. Um, so we're all good to go for OS 6. So hope you enjoy.